Another early morning, another ceremony to bid health workers farewell. Last week, a troop of Cuban doctors were dispatched to Italy. This week, medical professionals have been sent throughout the Caribbean to Suriname, Grenada, Jamaica, and today, St. Kitts. Proposing, say, scientists are trying to discover medicine uh, against coronavirus. So yeah. one maybe would be something which will block the RNA, the transmission of the information contained. The other might be to create the proteins which will be which will create such an adverse conditions there that in spite of the RNA carrying that information, it won't be able to replicate. Yeah. So would the would the different approaches uh, appear at this level? Whether you work through attacking the information. The idea which is in the RNA or the other material conditions that are there, which could be the proteins, you know, can there yes. be, can we, can we think along these lines? <laughs> Everything is tried. So uh, the, all the drugs which are used as antivirals, okay, yeah. Yeah. targets these different components of the, of the virus. Okay. Yeah. For example, yesterday I told about the, this protein called the RDRP, the RNA dependent RNA polymerase, which copies the RNA. Okay. RDRP. Uh, RDRP, RNA dependent uh, RNA polymerase, okay. which copies the RNA to produce the, the, the RNA copies. Mm -hmm. Now, the one of the drugs, okay, is targets this RDRP and this stops the copying of the RNA. For example, okay. the drug which has been so hugely successful in combating HIV, the AIDS, okay, uh, a virus, that is a drug which stops the RDRP, okay, it prevents oh, the RNA okay. from getting copied, okay. Uh, uh, On the other hand, there can be a what drug. Is this, what is this drug called? The HIV drug you said? It is called as AZT. AZT. Okay. Uh. Okay. So this is successful in stopping the HIV RNA from getting copied. All right. Okay. Now, uh. in the other case, you also have drugs. For example, the drug which is used against uh, influenza virus, which is now being used for this virus also, that is targeted against another protein which is called as a protease okay. okay okay so that actually stops the proteins from getting produced okay okay so Sorry, that's also in hiv no that is in influenza virus that is now being being tried out in the in, in this one also in uh, in coronavirus also oh i see yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so so there are various types of treatments. So currently for the coronavirus, the type of treatments which are being tried out, okay, targets this multiple, you know, types of proteins in the, uh, in the coronavirus. None okay. of them didn't target the RNA. All of them target different proteins. Ah, okay? I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. All right. Uh, or this, uh, you must have heard about this uh, this drug which is called as hydroxychloroquine, which you know, yeah, uh, that's right. uh, yeah. uh, which was being told that this is being used uh, yeah. as something in the coronavirus. What that yeah. does is basically, as I said, that the coronavirus enters into the cell. Okay, so it enters into a cell in the form of a pocket. Okay, and inside the pocket, the acidity of the pocket. Uh, is important to allow the viral proteins to function. Uh, now, hydroxychloroquine goes and changes the acidity of this pocket. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And can prevent the virus from actually, the viral uh, proteins actually function. And this so pocket is inside which cell? This pocket? The pneumocyte, this pneumocyte. Oh, pneumocyte, okay, the type of pneumocyte, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the virus goes into a, this, this thing is called technically as an endosome. Okay, so the endosome has a particular acidity. This acidity can be changed uh, uh, with this uh, uh, with this thing uh, with hydroxychloroquine, and this can affect again the the replication of the virus. So these are all different strategies. So there is nothing like a single strategy which will work against a virus. Okay, okay. Most cases, what is tried is a combination of such drugs. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. So uh, all. Uh. 
all this is being tried against the against the the coronavirus even um, uh, you know like uh, so currently you know like the drugs which are being used one is the is this rna polymerase as i said so this drug is called as remdesivir so this is what is being used hydroxychloroquine as i said is being used to reduce the acidity in this endosomes okay yeah. and then there are these two drugs which were targeted against the protease as i said lopinavir and ritonavir this has been uh, tried against uh, uh, the protease uh, and then there are uh, uh, there is also drugs which affects this as2 you know this uh, this receptor that one, yeah that one yeah which which yeah. attracts the rna yeah right yeah so yeah. this is called as, as camostat this drug this is also being tried camostat. out camostat camostat and then there is a drug which is being used which was actually developed by scientists in cuba actually interferon oh, based wonderful finally finally we are into cuba yeah uh, that is also being used <laughs> interferon beta but interferon beta this is interferon beta 2 this is not a uh, uh, directly targeting the virus what it does uh, basically it regulates the body's response to the virus okay well that looks like a different approach now a different methodology yeah so that is also that but we do not know how well this will function against this particular virus mm. so it's a, it's a non specific antiviral beta Ah, I love that term, non-specific. It takes us out of the gene now, finally. <laughs> you know. No, it, uh, no. It also affects genes, but it affects genes in the human body, not in okay. the not the viral genes. Okay, okay, okay. So it also affects genes, but it affects uh, it affects our the human body's immune system. I see, I see, I see. So non-specific. Okay. So what would be a how how do how is it different from the specific? What does the specific do? I mean, it will only target specific the, this particular of, uh, micro level this things. This particular virus, for example. Hmm. So a specific antiviral will specifically target a virus, whereas a non-specific antiviral will sort of see our body also has antiviral defenses. So a non-specific antiviral will go and work with this. bodies non specific antiviral defenses so which start getting activated whenever a virus infects so interferons are part of this our our antiviral defense system okay okay i see i see i see i see i see ah, ah. okay so interferons ah. are, will specifically target the virus so the ah. idea is that you use drugs which will ah. target both the virus and the host and the host I see, okay. I see, I see. So, so the together, so the Cuba, so the Cuba. So tell us more about the Cuba medicine. So it will it will target, it will strengthen yeah, the immune system of the host. That's how it works, yeah, rather than targeting the virus. Really, yeah, it doesn't really target strengthen the immune system. What it does, it mounts an immune response. So basically, I think like it is the antiviral. Our body has an immune system, and the immune system is again part. two parts of the immune system one is called the innate immunity the other is called the adaptive immunity okay. the innate immunity is our body's first line of defense against any infection that's right that's right yeah okay. yeah yeah uh, so when you are being getting infected by any virus or any bacteria or any type of pathogenic organism some cells in our body gets activated yeah. okay and then they produce substances with specifically now activate cells which goes and kills that bacteria or virus okay mm -hmm. now one of the substances is this interferon so normally our body's own cells produce it uh. all right and this cells go and activate what the cells which we call as natural killer cells mm -hmm. which go and kill the viruses yeah. now if interferon is given from outside to our body also this will also activate our our innate immune system mm -hmm. so this thing was developed by the one of this thing was developed by cuban scientists interferon beta 2 which if given to our body will activate our natural killer cells which can okay. then go and kill the virus okay 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 how old is this interferon uh, medicine yeah this is from the 1970s actually from back then okay yeah. Yeah. I, so it was the impression that this is all microbiology and biotechnology, and it could not have been so developed uh, back then. Not just in Cuba, but also in other countries, because yeah. I thought it was Cuba developed a very 
strong biotechnology research and uh, and production system uh, so they have a number of very good biotechnology uh, products like so one of this is interferon uh, beta 2 since the 1970s that's like uh, yeah, what you that's mean? when they started this this research project they uh. started producing this finally at commercial scale in 1980s okay 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 and this one this kind of research in cuba which gave us interferon that doesn't have anything to do with the human genome project and the kind of uh, thing that Levantin is critiquing, right? How, no, no, how it's also part of the, it is also part of the same thing uh -huh. because the interferon is also produced some gene in our body. Okay. So what the Cubans did, they could take the gene from the human body, from human cells and, uh -huh. and put it in bacteria and produce the, this protein interferon beta in bacteria in large quantities. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I see, I see. And then they could uh, they could isolate and purify this. Uh, this this is also a protein. And then uh, they could th then it can be injected into humans again. So this also comes from a human gene. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So this interferon has already been used then for other other yeah, ailments. It, just, it is used quite widely uh, as as an antiviral drug, as a non-specific antiviral drug. So even in like the kind of viral fever that we get the ordinary viral fever, this can be used, you mean? It, it is not required. It is, <coughs> see, this also has, uh, this our innate immune system is actually a double-edged sword, okay? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it is, it gets, it is our primary protective response to any infection or, or injury because it kills this infectious pathogens. <coughs> but if it gets too strong, then it kills our own tissues also. So this is also a dialectical oh. system. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So it Actually, cannot... this reminds me, you know, when I was just uh, surfing the net, I found one uh, explanation saying that one of the things that makes coronavirus so lethal is that the coronavirus is able to activate our immune system, which mm -hmm. in turn create, does further damage to our body, apparently. Right, yeah, yeah. It, this is called as a cytokine storm. Th that is what it, it is. is called technically. So cytokine. it creates cytokine, cytokine. cytokine. Ah, okay, okay, cytokine, yeah. It's called something a cytokine. Something in the, like, like kinetic energy or something, cytokine. No, no, cytokines <laughs> were originally uh, called in that way because they're called cytokinesis. Cytokinesis means movement of cells. So yeah. basically, when a virus infects a certain part of the body, cells yeah. from the blood move out and go to that site of infection. So this ah, process okay. is called a cytokinesis, right? Oh, I see. And this so is what does the coronavirus do? That way it attracts all the cells and starts cells infecting all of that? Right, yeah. Right. To come ah. at, and, and target and attack that cell which is getting infected. My so if this, God. This yeah, is so like this, in some gorilla, gorilla warfare, you know? If you are weak, in the you, yeah, you get the enemy out of their den and then you kill them. Right, yeah. So this oh. keeps uh, happening all the time. So now, but the thing is that if you give something like interferon beta, this will activate the cytokine storm in some way, but if it becomes very strong, becomes very uncontrolled, then it can damage the body itself. Therefore, it has to be given very carefully. It should not be given in, you know, our daily influenza or things like that. Okay. Uh, because then it can cause more harm than good.